When you start your first project, the program will ask you which template to use, one that's optimized for interior designers or one optimized for full residential designers. You can always change this later in your preferences. As you get comfortable using the software, there are settings you will likely want to customize for your own template plan, such as room heights, cabinet colors, or dimension formatting. For this overview, I'll use the residential template. Designs begin by drawing the walls on the first floor and creating the room shape or house footprint. For this sample home, I will use the exterior wall tool and click and drag to place the walls. As the walls are drawn, notice that a temporary dimension shows along the length of the wall. The wall is actually composed of several layers, including siding, insulation, framing, sheathing, and sheetrock. Each will automatically calculate in the materials estimate. An R value is also assigned for determining heat loss calculations. With Chief Architect, there are a number of options to customize any wall. Customization include the ability to draw multiple wall types, define layers that make up the walls, and change the color, line weight, and hatching of walls. While drawing walls, there is no need to leave spaces open for doors and windows. The program will automatically create openings when those items are placed in the design. When the room or house footprint is complete, the program automatically generates a roof and places the exterior dimensions for all of the walls. To move any wall, click and drag it, or select the wall, then the wall dimension, and type in the measurement to precisely locate the wall. Next, we'll use the interior wall tool and place the interior walls. To save time, I'll add the remaining walls. In addition to the automatic exterior dimensions, there are a variety of other dimension tools. For the interior walls, let's use the interior dimension tool and place the dimensions by dragging across the floor plan. Interior dimensions can be set up to locate to the framing or finish layer and display in feet or inches. Let's take a 3D view to see what our design looks like so far. The perspective floor overview camera shows a good dollhouse view of the shapes of the rooms that were just created. While in a 3D view, I can continue designing by moving walls, placing doors, windows, and more.